Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this and welcome to the second of my three films about camera mounts for GoPro or equivalent type mounting systems. In this one I'm going to be having a look at some aftermarket ones I didn't cover in the first one on the cheap end of the market. A few different companies and um, one of which is no longer available in the UK but they did used to make some moderately okay action cameras for recording rides but uh, not the highest quality ones in the market and uh, when we get on to part three we'll be looking at some of the RAM mount systems. I've given that one a uh, film to itself because there's so many different options available. So without further ado let's have a look at stuff that you can mount on the Himalayan that I'm leaning on at the moment and uh, on the mirror of the 900 Hornet behind me. Last time out I mentioned that I nearly lost a camera due to the bridging piece on a GoPro mount failing because it's made of plastic. Kaiser Bass do a rough equivalent, um, it uses the same mounting architecture as the GoPro but it comes in two pieces uh, as the GoPro does but this one's made out of metal, it appears to be aluminium and you get a couple of uh, Allen key head screws to uh, join the two pieces together. In either case you need a strip of rubber to take up the vibrations, give it a firmer grip on the stalk and uh, let you move it around slightly if you need to. Also because these are oval shapes in the mount clamps it does actually turn it into more of a circular shape to mount on the mirror stalk. So how's this for articulation? Instead of using multiple arms you could always look at getting one of these articulated mounting pieces from Cerewo, Shurwo. Not sure how it's pronounced. These give a lot of articulation if you're having trouble mounting a camera with just the standard arms from GoPro. Between the two red screws, strictly speaking they're bolts but we'll let that one ride, you have the black screw which is actually holding the articulated pieces together. This is basically the clamping screw. It's exactly the same pitch and thread length as the other two so you can mix and match but this one is made of metal, as are the two red ones in this case, but a lot, of one, a, a lot of these fixings are made of plastic. To the right of the articulating arm we have a standard GoPro type mount, and above it we do have a little tool. And you need this because of the middle articulating clamp screw being made of metal, and you do need to clamp it up firmly. You'll also see there's a small hex hole below the main hole for the um, clamping screw shape. And uh, if you're wondering what this is for, if you have a cat can didn't break the head of a plastic screw off and it is still actually clamping, you can use this if you haven't got a cross-head screwdriver to undo the remains of the screw and you'll be able to remove it so you can get your camera off and replace the broken plastic fixing screw. Also hailing from China we have HSU, Happy Share Upload. This mount comes with a standard bar type clamp at one end, a standard GoPro type camera fixing or articulating arm fixing at the other end and in the middle a little fat barrel. Um, that's so you can change the orientation of it in 12 steps. So it goes uh, sort of 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the mounting rotation. So you've got a bit of freedom here to orientate your camera to the right place, level with the horizon, which is uh, how most of them would be done. And I use this on my Himalayan with a couple of uh, HSU metal extension arms. The thing you'll notice about these is that they are the same orientation from the end that you attach to whatever mounting system you've got and the camera or possibly another extension arm as I did in this case. So mixing and matching some of these with standard 90 degree change of directions that you get from the likes of GoPro is quite useful for getting your camera at exactly the right angle. You can also get a little goodie box as uh, I bought here and in this one the rotating piece isn't actually attached to a mount. This box is designed to be used purely for extensions and options and is not used for clamping. You get a good selection here though including three different screws of various lengths, a couple of different length articulating arms, of course the tool for screwing the metal fixings up firmly, and the camera mounting points. Um, these are standard photographic quarter inch threads, so you can use them to mount a camera to a GoPro or a GoPro to a camera tripod. So quite useful all round really.
You'll see here on the Himalayan I've got the camera mounted on the tank bars. Just below where the camera's mounted at present is where it was originally mounted where the uh, fog lights had to go or as I call them the extra dip lights because the headlight is shockingly bad. But the issue is here that once I had to move them up to an upper mount I couldn't get the camera to the right angle. It was either too far left or too far right. So I had to look at another option. So next time we'll be looking at what I do to get around the problem of my Himalayan camera mounts. Will I add a ball? Will I clamp a ball? And most worryingly of all, will my balls shed their skin? All will be revealed in full gory detail on part three of my camera mount films. Until then, safe riding. Make sure your balls don't shed their skin and I'll catch you later. I've just got my ball skin.